an entire uh, new unit, and we are on our first uh, organ system called the integumentary system. And the integumentary system is made up of your skin and all of its accessory organs that go along with it. Um, there are three major regions. The epidermis is the outermost region. The dermis is the middle and largest region. And the hypodermis is the deepest region um, of the skin. And it accounts for about 7% of your body weight. This is a picture of the skin and all of its accessory organs. And you can see that the epidermis is on the outermost portion. The dermis is very thick and um, makes up the majority of the skin. And then the hypo dermis and all of the other things just are considered to be accessory organs. The epidermis is composed of keratinized stratified squamous, that should look familiar from last chapter, epithelial tissue. And when it says keratinized, it means that keratin is infused into the cells as they go towards the surface and that actually kills the cell and it becomes just a sack of keratin but that helps protect us from any sort of foreign invader. Um, there are different cell types in um, your epidermis, and we're gonna talk about those all in just a moment. And the outer portion of the um, skin is uh, basically functions in protection. The different cells that we find in the um, epidermis the first is uh, called a keratinocyte, and those are the ones that produce the protein keratin that gets infused into the cells as they grow, or as they're pushed up to the surface, and it kills the cell, but it does help in protection. Melanocytes are very important because they produce a brown pigment called melanin, and that melanin is there to um, protect the nucleus of the cell from UV light. There are also Langerhorn cells, um, which are macrophages, and macrophages are um, phagocytites, phagocytizing cells that are going to help uh, with the immune system and gobble up bad things that get into uh, the epidermis. And then Merkel cells are sensory nerve um, receptors that allow you to feel the world around you. There are different layers to the epidermis. The, the bottom or deepest layer is called the stratum basale, and this is the layer that is attached to the basal um, or the basement membrane and attached to the dermis. You have to have, you know, remember epithelial tissue is always has an apical side and then a basal side, and this is the basal side of that epidermis or epithelial tissue, and it is attached to the dermis itself. Um, it is the portion of the epidermis that is undergoing rapid division, and I'm going to get to why we need that in just a moment. The stratum spinosum is the next um, layer. Uh, we're going from deep to superficial, so it's the next layer of epidermis, and it basically has um, your melanin that's going to be protecting your um, nucleus of the cell. And then the stratum granulosum is the thinnest layer, and it's just three to five cell layers. And then this layer is um, interesting because it's not found everywhere. So the epidermis in your body either has four or five layers. And the only place that you find five layers, and this is the fifth layer, is um, which is called stratum lucidum, is in the palms of your hand and the soles of your feet. You need them to be a little thicker because you touch the world around you. Uh, with your hands and your feet. And then finally, the outermost layer is called the stratum corneum. And this is where you have these keratinized cells. They're dead at this point. They're, they're going to slough off your body. And there's kind of a disturbing fact. You lose nine pounds of skin cells per year and they slough off into your clothing, into your bed, into your car, on the floor, etc. The stratum corneum is the thickest portion of the epidermis, which makes sense because it is the most protective layer. Um, its functions are waterproofing, so once that keratin um, is in the cell and you have um, you have something, you have this oil, we'll get to a little bit down the road, that's going to be on the surface of your skin, so it waterproofs, it protects from abrasion, and it also um, does not allow anything to penetrate the skin.
<clears throat> so these are the layers of the um, just the epidermis. So you can see the stratum corneum is the dead layer that is keratinized. These are all dead cells. You have your stratum granulosum. You have your stratum spinosum. And that's where you've got the melanin because the melanin is protecting the cells that are undergoing mitosis um, or cell division because you're trying to protect your DNA from becoming mutated so that you don't get skin cancer. In this picture, you don't see the stratum lucidum because this is obviously not found on the palms of your hand or the soles of your feet.